For decades, telecom providers built the world's most powerful networks. Billions invested in faster broadband, denser towers, and more fiber. And yet, the faster they went, the smaller the margins became. While the networks grew, the profits shrank. Customers turned to cloud and app providers for innovation, and the telcos who built the highways were left watching others collect the tolls. Your customers have a pretty challenging time at the moment. They're sort of transitioning from one model of providing data to finding new ways uh, to delight their customers. How is Alianza helping them? For many times, these service providers have been stuck with a cul-de-sac of technology and a cul-de-sac of offers. We're arming the service provider again with offers that they can differentiate for their markets, for their customers, that um, they can regain their right to win in the market. Telecom's greatest challenge isn't technology, it's mindset. This is the crossroads. Evolve from pipes to platforms or be left behind. This is not a technical challenge. The big challenge is changing hearts and minds. We have two decades worth of muscle memory built up inside of operators' boardrooms where they've been focused on reducing cost at all, you know, at, at every other expense. Let's take cost out of the network. Let's become more efficient. Um, changing hearts and minds to get them running a different motion now where they're thinking about driving value through revenue creation is a muscle that's been atrophied. Um, so we need to help them build this muscle back up. The same precision that once optimized networks must now be applied to creating entirely new experiences. APIs, AI, and open architecture are rewriting the rules. Telecoms providers are going to have to be more agile in the future. They've been confined to some extent by the technology that they've deployed, but enterprises and SMBs are demanding more and more technology, more and more solutions, and they're going to have to adapt the way they take those to market to make sure they can be successful in the future. What is the big revenue driving opportunity on mass the carriers that you see coming up? The biggest innovation in our industry is occurring outside the network, not within it. That changes, that changes now. They're the trusted source of these communication products. No one knows their customers quite like they do. So giving them the tools, giving them the, the ingredients to put these services together is really the big opportunity. That really forms the foundation of the intelligent communications fabric. It really connects the underlying network ar architecture to the experiences that their end customers want. So I think the biggest barrier to telecom providers reinventing their business models is how fast they're gonna move in this new world. A lot of them are investing in their own technology and they're running that infrastructure to have done for a number of years, but the world is moving at a pace of knots at the moment and you've gotta start booting, you've gotta start innovating quick and you've gotta start bringing new services to your customers, otherwise they're gonna be looking in other directions. The intelligent communications fabric connects legacy infrastructure with the creativity of the cloud without breaking what's already trusted. The crossroads is here. The question isn't whether telecoms can compete again, it's whether they have the courage to evolve. The road ahead isn't just about faster connections, it's about smarter ones. You know, the value props of yesterday are gone. I don't know when the last time was that you saw a coverage map on a commercial, or we all remember the pin drop commercials for Sprint. That was about call quality. It's not about uptime anymore. Right? It's about predictability. It's about innovation. It's about pushing the boundaries. I want, I want my communication services to know who I am, why I'm calling, who's on the other end, and help make my life a lot better. And we already see that today. It's just right now the service provider is not in the mix. They're being disintermediated. And so that's, that's where we come in, where we are really looking to empower them. You know, this is what we think is really going to allow uh, service providers to rapidly innovate, right? Innovate at the, you know, we say this, uh, innovate at the speed of cloud and give them the ability to, to monetize these new API-driven services in, in really interesting ways.